Hi, my name's Tim and uh, this is an overview of information, a tutorial if you like, of how to use the Prezi Auto Player application that we created. Uh, this is the online version, there'll actually be an offline version, I'll do that after this one. Um, and the links to any of the information that's shown in this video uh, will be in the description of this YouTube video. So just a few things to sort of set the scene and mention. Um, this is uh, an auto player, uh, auto start application for a Prezi. Uh, usually when you embed them in a web page, uh, blog, intranet, um, you have to click a button and then you have to manually sort of advance through Prezi's path. Um, this, you don't have to do any of that. First thing to note, uh, we have another product, uh, PowerPoint add-in. This has nothing to do with it. Uh, this will not work on Prezi's own website. Uh, this is for a Prezi that you've sort of downloaded and then uploaded to a web server, blog, intranet. Um, there's nothing to add to Prezi, it's completely clean. Uh, the Auto Start Auto Play literally has no user intervention. You ju literally just go to whichever page um, as a user, and if there's a Prezi on there with this sort of application, it will play automatically. You can control each of the transition periods in Prezi's path to the second. So um, I'll explain that in a moment, and then there's a pause and resume, which again will make sense when I show it to you. So. Um, First of all, let me just go and just explain something about Prezi, which you'll obviously already know. But if you download a Prezi um, that you've created from Prezi's website, it's quite a long string of data in a compressed file. And if you unzip it or expand it and go inside, you'll see three things. A data folder, a Prezi.app folder, and a Prezi.exe player, which we don't need. So I'll just show you. Just delete that. Now, what you would do is you would upload those two directory on your web server where you want this to be stored um, but before I show you that and what it looks like let me just uh, quickly explain not like that what it actually looks like in the real world so I'll just refresh this page so this is just a blog which I've embedded uh, an autoplay Prezi uh, I've just written some text my Prezi design skills are pretty awful and I've made it start slowly the text here is just for my reference, that actually isn't in the application, but the pause button is. You'll see it starts automatically, and then each of the transitions are controlled and timed, and I'll explain how they are controlled and timed dynamically. But this is what Prezi, you still have all your controls, um, and the key thing, if you don't, or if the user wants to interact with Prezi, you can hit the pause button. Basically it does just that, it pauses it, you can go and interact with it as you normally would, and then if you want to continue, without saying you just hit play would carry then on so that's what it looks like obviously the design the size the look and the feel this is just really basic out of the box blog um, yours would be as you designed it so that's what it kind of looks like and there'll be a link so you can play and sort of see it and test it for yourself more importantly um, from a technical perspective what you need to upload to your web server so I've exposed the, the sort of directory on my web server here you obviously wouldn't do that um, but you'll see here the data folder that I uploaded and the Prezi.app folder. These were the two folders that were in the downloaded Prezi. And then there are four additional files that we've created. One is the autoloader flash file, a config file that allows you online to change the times in Prezi's path to the second. I've just put an HTML file here just as an example. And then there's an XML file. And if you don't know what it is, it's not important, but basically this holds the information that allows you to control how long Prezi remains in its path at each point. So um, just to go through, uh, you've seen what it looks like, you'll be obviously be able to sort of play it with yourself. Um, just to explain what the config uh, file looks like. Somewhere here. Yeah. So this allows you online without having to sort of go and manipulate XML files to do it for you. And I think it's pretty much self-explanatory each field um, denotes the path within the Prezi, obviously one through however many paths you have. You can obviously set how many seconds you want it to remain at that point. Obviously, if you are playing a video at some point, you'd set it much longer. Uh, if it's just a quick transition, you'd set it much shorter. Uh, you can obviously add nodes that are relevant to your Prezi. Yours is gonna have more than mine, and you can obviously delete nodes. Um, and then you can update. <coughs> So just to show what that looks like, uh, somewhere here, I have the XML file. So 
This is what the XML actually file um, looks like. My web server is a bit slow. Okay, so you can see here eight four four eight four four four. If I go back to here, you'll see that's denoted here. Now, if I change this to say thirty seconds, as if it was going to be a video, hit update. You see it's update successful. Now, if I just go back and reload this. you'll see that there it is. So you wouldn't obviously see this, the user wouldn't see this, this is more from a technical perspective to show you how it actually works. Um, obviously you actually see the Prezi and this would be reflected in the time. As I say, there'll be an online version you can test out and there'll be an offline downloadable version, again, which you can, uh, you can obviously do. So pretty much that is it. Um, you stick out the web server, you embed it wherever you want within a web page, a blog or what have you. There are two examples on our website. Um, and if you're going to use this as a test, it, hopefully it provides some insight, but um, if you're a Prezi designer, you'll be able to work this stuff out, and there are some notes in the downloadable file as well. Anyway, thanks very much. Um, the links for all of this will be in the description of this YouTube video. Cheers.